My name is Carl Conrail. I started my employment with the Chicago Lighthouse for the Blind in 1951. I was working there as a supervisor right from the beginning. But then it began to change. Like I say, I developed the Vocational Evaluation Center. I wrote uh, the request uh, with uh, William Langbauer and we got a grant from the Department of uh, Rehabilitation. For a while, we worked at the place on Jefferson Street. Then they were uh, thinking about building the building. And that was on Roosevelt Road, where the current uh, agency is. The second floor was primarily for assembly we did Western Electric. We were working on plugs. Uh, that was what they used in um, some of the telephone connections. And we did uh, skill craft tools. By the way, we also assembled a clock for the government. Now, in fact, we're still doing that today. So uh, we've been fortunate to keep that contract all these years. We also had a placement uh, program. Uh, Jim Kessler was the one that had probably the best placement record in the history of the, the Lighthouse. And that was, you know, complex because you had to go out into industry and uh, talk to the people that generally were hiring people, and that was not easy. You know, you have to explain to people that know nothing about blindness that a, a person that's blind or at least visually impaired can still assemble or do whatever the work that was being done if they were given the chance to do that. But I was always fortunate enough to get assistance and everything I needed in regard to uh, being a functional visually impaired person. I owe the Lighthouse a great deal for that. It's allowed me to make a living, uh, which I was totally thankful for, and I will be for the rest of my life, that's for sure.